Danny Matranga here with Mind Pump TV. And today I'm excited to share with you the ultimate landmine leg day. This is one of my absolute favorite leg days to deploy if I'm crunched for time, I want to change it up, or if I want something that's maybe a little more functional or variable like a landmine. I'm going to take you guys through five exercises today that hit the entire legs from the adductors, abductors, quads, hams, glutes, and calves. Let's get into it. The first exercise is a landmine front squat. It's a fantastic exercise for the core, the quads, and the upper back. Starting position is easy. We pick it up just like a deadlift, get it into the front of the torso. It should be sitting even with the sternum. From here, you actually want to take a step back. This is going to give you room to sit back and down. And from here, brace your core, set your hips back, explode up. Right, trying to keep our weight in our heels, exploding through our glutes and quads, making sure that we engage our core the entire time. 15 repetitions of landmine front squats and then it's on to the next one. The second exercise is the landmine RDL, Romania deadlift. This is for the hamstrings and the glutes primarily. Unlike the conventional deadlift, we are not gonna put this down on the ground after we pick it up. So once you get it off the ground, making sure that your core is braced, unlock the knees, set the hips back until you feel the stretch in the hamstring, powerful extension forward, keeping the back as straight as you can, making sure your lats are on, your hamstrings and glutes are doing the work, okay? Core is braced. Again, 12 to 15 reps, and then it's on to exercise number three. The third exercise is a landmine Cossack squat. Now, this is basically a side lunge, right, where we go from left to right, but instead of segmenting it left side, right side, it's gonna be a nice, smooth wave from left to right. So get in your squat stance, reach down, pick it up, set your feet out a little bit wider than normal, and then unlocking the knees, we wanna sit back on the right hip. That's gonna be the starting position. From here, keeping the landmine right where it is, we simply shift from left to right, using our glutes, our inner and outer thighs, our quads, to keep the weight moving, right? If you're doing this one right, you're gonna be feeling it in the inner thigh, especially around the back area by the hamstring. This one I like to do for time. So a 45 second round of landmine Cossacks. The fourth exercise in the landmine leg day is the landmine reverse lunge. I love this exercise compared to a traditional dumbbell reverse lunge because we have a unilateral load, right? The load is all on one side of the body. So not only do we get the quads and glutes going like a reverse lunge regularly would, we also get some great core activation. So pick a side, I'm gonna start with my left leg as my base and my right arm as my support. Pick it up. I want the landmine to be able to fill the space that my right leg vacates when I go into the reverse lunge. From here, explosive back up to the top. I want to get about 12 reps per side, simply switching over, right? Keeping my core tight, rolling through my heel and my big toe on the back foot. Nice and simple. 12 reps a side, and then it's on to the last one. The last movement is a landmine sumo deadlift. It's super similar to the landmine RDL. We just set up with a wider base and our feet externally rotated. It's going to help us recruit our glutes as well as drive through our quads. So from here, you simply drop down, keeping the hips back. Using both the hips and the quads together. Okay. Simple core braced through the hips and quads, 12 to 15 reps, and that's a wrap for the ultimate landmine leg day. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found this valuable. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll be going through the comments periodically and answering questions and interacting with you guys as much as we can. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you next time.